Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim B'cha Kodash, that wants to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me this truth, singing honors to the Yalat. Peace and blessings be to all the saints of men, women, and children that do consist of the one third. Shalom, Shalom. This is um, a very humbling message that I received from a brother. And um, I'm going to use this as, a, as an example of, of having faith and, you know, enhancing your faith, growing in your faith. Because at times we can be humble to the point where we may just not really know what understand. And I hope the brother don't, don't mind me using this, but I'm using this as an example, as a perfect example of edifying when people think and believe, am I a part of the elect? You know, will I be saved? Can I be saved? You know, well, none of us know when the day of the Lord shall return, let alone we will be saved that's how we're the hopefully led but our actions speak louder than our words compared to those who claim to love god right so with that being said the brother um is um i'm a believer in hamashiach which right there is a great start to believe with you know i mean i'm mean, sorry to begin with forgive me i just woke up it says shalom uh, can you please help me by sending the lord prayer for me and my family to bless us with healings and others since I'm not part of the elect. That's what caught my attention. So my prayer will not be accepted equal denied. That caught my attention again. Please help me and my family to bless us with healings and other things. Please help me, brother. Thank you all. Um, there is a comment that's, that's left on my on. Um, the live that we did yesterday me and the brother Shaw so it's um, visible but the part that I want to not the part the precept I want to open up with to speak on is Roman Romans 8 and 33 who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect it is God that justifier so I cannot sit here and tell you you know whether or not you are a part of the elect because really, when we say the elect, that means the chosen who has been predestined before the foundation of the earth to be saved. Right? Like how Yahweh said in St. John 15 and 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Right? And he also goes on to say in St. John the 10th chapter, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Well, your name is like self-explanatory. I am a believer. Of Hamashiach Yahushai, right? And the elect consists of the 144,000. That's 12,000 men out of each tribe, men. But then remember, the Lord said, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be brought through the fire. That's the one third, which mainly consists of women and children. And there are some token men as well. So the elect not only consists of the 144,000, but the one-third who also believe. That word, the 12, with Yahweh shot during that time. Then 5,000 more at um, cleaved on, and that was more. And remember in the book of Luke, the 10th chapter, he also had the 70 who he sent out in, in, in twos and in pairs. I mean, what do you think the 144,000 really comes from? Those same men from back in that day. You have major prophets and minor prophets, right? As I speak right now, this is my virtual epistle. When the elder Pastor to heart put up a video, that's his virtual epistle. And every other elder and like-minded man, right? Because we've been sanctioned to be uh, apostles, preachers, prophets, and teachers. All those things, okay? So who am I to say who is the elect and who is not? But what the scripture says, um, give all diligence to make thy calling an election sure. How? Well, let me get let me get to that. But I also want to go into about you praying, saying that your prayer won't be accepted. Well, based upon your comment, that's very humbling of you. So listen to this. This is Sirach 35 and 17. The prayer of the humble 
pierce of the clouds. Until it come night, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. Right? So your prayers pierce the clouds. And you know who send the prayers back and forth, to and forth throughout the earth? The angel Raphael. Read the book of Tobit. I think it's the, was it the 11th or 12th chapter? Right? So, Psalms 119 and 9. Where would shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Another word, you start with repentance. That's the first, that's the first form, I'm sorry, the first phase of being accepted. First and foremost, you have a, 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 a epiphany or a, a enlightenment stage. You become illuminated. What does that mean? You you receive the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh You know, second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse. I'm trying to think about precepts off the top of my head, where it says that the the light of the knowledge of Hamashiach was supposed to shine in us, and it is. As you can see, all this truth, all this wisdom that's being displayed from us in all this darkness. Like how I said, what man lighteth a candle and hide it under a bushel? So we have to bring forth this truth, this knowledge, this light. Okay? And not only just by hearing the word, but being a doer as well. You're taking heed to the word. Now now do something about it. This is James 1, 21 and 22. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. The word is able to save your soul. Now, as for praying for one another, I'm going to get into that too. But you gotta, you have to rely on the Ravach HaKodash. You have to rely on on the word itself that's why i said come for ye one another with these words that's in first thessalonians the fourth chapter now verse 22 but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves now i proceed to be your brother correct so what could you possibly do to be saved because you got to remember because just because all men just because a man believe doesn't mean that that man is an apostle right because everybody don't have the same spirit and everyone don't have the same office and every man woman or child i'm going as far as saying that don't have the same measure of faith i mean if the lord only chose the 12 to go out and preach then wherein does that leave the woman to be saved how can she be saved and childbearing or by having the men of the lord or, really, and I mean this for women who don't have a man, you being humble to the best of your ability, laying all pride aside, being as modest as possible, feminine as possible, constantly, constantly refining yourself as a woman. I mean, man, you women who don't have a man or children, really, really humble yourselves. Unless you have a man of the Lord, but that's another story. So going back to... um. The brother, like I said, who I proceed is to be. So what about so what what could your office be? This is first Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twenty-three through through thirty-one. Pay attention. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, because you perceive yourself to I'm not a part of the elect. My prayers won't be answered. I don't know what I am, but I believe. Okay, listen to this. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. That's why I'm making this video. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Comely means to be appealing or uh, um, beautiful or attractive in a sense, right? So in other words, I'm a member of the body and you're a member of the body and a brother's ill or or a brother's going through a trial or tribulation, we need to be there to comfort and aid that brother or sister. I go as far as to say that too, right? So this is what's happening right here. 
verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but God have tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. That there should be no schism, which means um, division, in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Mashiach and members in particular. Okay, brother. So you are a member. Hearken unto this. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, which means to be sent forth, the men on the corner, secondarily prophets. So, you can't be an apostle without being a prophet, but you can be a prophet without being an apostle. Think about it. Thirdly, teachers, right? After that, miracles, that's to come, but it's a miracle. We got the truth anyway. <laughs> Double portion of Yahusha, this is a miracle. Then gifts of healings, brothers who know how to deal with certain herbs and you know how to treat certain ailments, you get sick or whatever helps ties or um just being in the comic board dropping precepts i call it a spiritual potluck when brothers be dropping precepts that's a spiritual potluck to me because we all eating and feeding one another spiritually governments how the elders run their camps and how brothers govern the, the um their uh, um the body of hamashiach dealing with different brothers diversity of tongues Brothers can speak different languages to break down the Bible to their people in different languages. Like the brothers in Germany, they speak Deutsch. And one time a brother was doing sign language to somebody. That was such a beautiful moment. Right? Now, verse 29. Are all apostles? It's a question. Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healings? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts. And yet, shoo I unto you a more excellent way. So you just find your way in the body to contribute. You know, and I, I, this is not to be condescending or to belittle or belittling no one. But hell, even if you own a team and you just a water boy or the towel boy or, the, or, or you know, the person that run around do miscellaneous things. At the end of the day, when the team win, you win. Because you was on a winning team, but you contributed somehow. You still, you know how they be on the sidelines and they had like the logo on the shirt and everything. They're not even a player, but you know what you could say? I was on a winning team and I contributed to that winning team. Just find, just find your niche, find your lot, right? Romans fifteen and one. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. That's why this video is happening right now. Now the God of hope, man. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. The God of hope, how about you now, shy? Will fill you with all joy and peace in believing. So why do you think you believe in the first place, brother? Why do you think you believe in the first place? Because the Lord filled you with that joy and peace. And he made you believe. So it's, it's to the point, it's like, you believe. It's like, I don't even know if I'm worthy. I don't even, can somebody else pray for me? Hold on. First and foremost, I pray for the elect all the time. So if you're a part of that number, well, hell, you believe, right? So you, so I've been praying for you, and you ain't even know it the whole time. Like-minded men been praying for you, you ain't even know it the whole time. Like-minded sisters, because I know a brother that has, man, a, a, a loving, caring sister that's 100% all for Israel. She pray for the elect all the time, too. And there's other sisters, too, that correspond with her through the Spirit that pray for us as well. So, but will I still pray for you? Of course I would. Why would I not? Like how I said, when I was thirsty, you all gave me water to drink. When I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was naked and destitute, you gave me clothing. And the disciples were like, yeah, how should I, we did this. He said, if you did it to one of these little ones, you did it unto me. So, of course I'll pray for you. But remember, we, are, we always pray for each other. Let's get back to it. 
This is exciting. Second Thessalonians spirit. Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse one through four. Finally, brethren, pray for us as spirit that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for all men have not faith. Why is it that all men have not faith? Because Yahweh Shemar Shai did not give all men faith. That's a gift. Think about this. What it says in Luke the 18th chapter. It said, um, shall not he avenge? Um, shall not he speedily avenge his own elect? And it said, But on um, when the Son of Man return on earth, shall he find faith? So you have faith. And you hoping to be saved. You hoping the Lord will heal. You hoping the Lord will guide you. You hoping the Lord will protect you and fight for you. But damn, that sounds like attributes of someone who could be a part of the elect to me. But like I said, who am I to lay in the charge to the most high's elect? He gonna justify it. Brother, I hope I'm a part of the elect. I mean, I, I'm i just being humble. I'm hoping. But damn, if I'm not a part of the elect... Let me say this first and foremost. If the elders of Great Millstone are not a part of the elect. And like-minded men like the elders and like-minded men like me, I'm just saying like, well, damn, who else could be at the elect? IUIC? And that's not to say that there's not certain brothers in there. But look at how, look at their leader. Look at GOCC. Look at all these fake false churches out here, man. Right? Jehovah wickedness, all of that. Are they doing exactly what the Lord told them to do concerning what the spirit say, Salaka. That's my own alarm. Nope. IUIC going to churches. You got people pulling out guns on them. I think I think IUIC even on Guerrilla Hebrew. Why you think all those things are happening to them? They're not doing it in the manner of the Lord, the way the Lord told them to do it, right? You know, there be some of the circumcision who mouths ought to be stopped. Circumcision means that they know who they are. But they ain't doing it the way the Lord asked them to do it. But nonetheless, though, that's another story, right? So, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you, brother, okay? And keep you from evil. So, yes, I will pray for you. But guess what? Though we pray for one another, who do we need to be praying to every day? Yahweh Oh, you best believe that. But yes, we still pray for one another. We still, hey, yeah. Yeah, how was Shah pray for us? Read John the 17 chapter. Come on now. I'm being passionate. I'm not upset at all. Trust me. I love, I love exhortation. You know, exhorting the brotherhood, you know. But yeah, how should I pray for us, man? John the 17 chapter. Go read it. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 4. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you. I'm confident the Lord is going to touch you. Lay hands on you. <laughs> in a good way. Because you don't want to get touched by the left hand. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and we have convinced, we have confidence, forgive me, in the Lord touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. So you heard my words. And remember, Matthew 10 and 20. It's not you that speak it, but it's the Father, the Spirit of the Father that speaketh within you. I'm using Yahweh Shimiao Shah words to comfort not myself, but you as well. I'm just a vessel of edification. That's it. Either way, his word is gonna go out. Either way. Titus chapter 3, verse 5 through 8, and I'm gonna close out. Not by works of righteousness, though faith without works is dead. Remember. As the body without the spirit is dead, so with faith without works is dead. But listen though, pay attention. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. In other words, recarnation. What does it say in John, not John, the Revelation, the 10th chapter? The angel told John, you shall prophesy again before many nations. But John died on the island of Patmos. So that means that John has to be here again. What is it say in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter? The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. What I mean, the prophets got to be here again today. So who is talking about prophecy? What's the spirit of Yahweh Shai? The spirit of prophecy. 
Man, the spirit is beautiful and it's heavy, man. That's why, you know, you <laughs> spirit is so heavy, man. If you ain't got the rubber cock with dice, you can't pick it up. Mm. Verse 6, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Savior. So Yahweh Shah's blood being that propitiation that really cleanses us from our sins. He took on all our sins. That's, an, that should be, that's another thing that sh you believe, right? You have faith that you should believe that Yahweh Shah blood cleans you from your sins. What happened when that woman was, he was with the scribes. And the woman was crying to Yahweh Shai. She used she used the ointment. She used her own tears to wipe his wash his feet and cleanse his hair. Yahweh Shai was like, Y'all been here this whole time and y'all ain't offering me nothing. This woman here on her knees crying, using her tears to wash my feet and ointment. And you know he told that woman, he said, He said, um, because you believe. Matter of fact, through the spirit, let me get it really quick. I don't wanna butcher it. I do not wanna butcher it. Because it's a beautiful um it's a beautiful passage, not only for brothers, but also for uh, for the sisters, too, who believe. This is Luke chapter 7, verse 44. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I answered unto thine house, thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she had washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, have not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint. But this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much. Well, you know, use your imagination. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. That's heavy. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. Think about that. Because of her actions, she believed he was the anointed. She believed he can save her. So just by her actions, because actions speak louder than words, action is love, according to the Bible, he said your sins forgiven. All because she believed. Now hearken. Verse 49 and they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgives the sins also? Here comes the point. And he said to the woman, Thy faith. Forgive me. Thy faith have saved thee. Go in peace. You have faith, right? So, once again, yeah, you ha you must have works. But guess what? We say by the mercy. We say by grace. We say because we have faith. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. <laughs> it, it, it just came to my mind. Salakia, you know. Back to Titus. Titus chapter 3, verse 7. That being justified by his grace, ooh, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Come on now. Verse 8, and I'm gonna close out. This is a faithful saying. Pay attention. In these things I I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. Maintain good works, brother, and keep your faith. Man. That's just the spirit. But with that being said, I pray that you and everybody else was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endear it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Kwame Asha'Allah. Wafla Babal. Shalom.